former Minister of Aviation and Seven Senator Stella Odua has defected to the All Progressive Congress APC from the People's Democratic Party PDP. Odua, who represents Anambra North, was received into the fold of the ruling party at a brief ceremony held in Abuja on Thursday. Be Malaboni, the national chairman of the APC Ketika Committee, Ovi Omo Agige, Deputy Senate President, Atiku Bagudu, Chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, and Hopu Zodima Imo Governor were present at the event. Sarah reporters had exclusively, had exclusively reported in April that Odua's trial by the EFCC over a 9.4 billion naira fraud may gradually be scuttled, going by her secret plot with the Senate President Ahmad Lawa and the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami. Sarah reporters had learned that the trial of Odua was which was supposed to go on in February 2022, could not proceed because the co-defendant with the minister failed to appear before Justice Iyang Eko of the Federal High Court Abuja. The judge had given the prosecution addition weeks and slated April 19th, but the case of the former minister again did not come up on Monday as scheduled. It was gathered that Odua met with Lawan and Malami to douse her case with the EFCC. February 22nd has passed, but she was not arraigned. April 19th has also passed. She's working very hard using Senate presidents and AGF to either scuttle arrangements or frustrate the trial. Alternatively, they are planning to water down the trial through the prosecution via, via the EFCC chairman. Another way is through the prosecutor, Dr. Hassan Liman, a close friend of Lawan and the AGF, a source had revealed to Sahara reporters. Sahara reporters had reported on February 22nd that the EFCC had earlier planned to rearrange Odua over fraud totaling over 9.4 billion naira on that same day, but a co defendant failed to show up in court as part of the plot. Odua was scheduled to be arraigned on a 25 count charge of money laundry alongside Gloria Odita, Nwobu Imanwe Nnamdi, Chukuma Irene Chinyere, Global Offshore and Marine Limited, Crystal Television Limited, Subora International Limited, and the China Civil Engineering Construction Company Limited. One of the counts in the charge reads that you, Stella Adese Odua, Wise being the Minister of Aviation, Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Gloria Odita, wise being the company secretary to C Petroleum and Gas Company Limited, and an aide to the former Minister of Aviation on and about the 12th day of February 2014 at Abuja within the Abuja Judicial Division of this Honorable Court, use your position to transfer the sum of 1.6 billion naira from. Uh, I Sec Security Nigeria Limited account number 2021-75-6955 with First Bank PLC to Global Offshore and Marine Limited account number 2022-97-72-96 also domiciled with First Bank PLC which money you reasonably ought to have known forms part of the process of an unlawful act and thereby committed an offence contrary to section 15 2 and 6 of the money laundry prohibition act 2011 as amended and punishable under section 15 3 of the same act when the case was mentioned the prosecuting counsel dr Hassan liman a senior advocate of nigeria informed the court that the commission tried every means possible but was unable to serve the fifth and sixth defendants with the process. He therefore applied for an additional 14 days to serve them. Justice Echo granted his prayer and adjourned to April 19, 2021 for arraignment. Sarah Reports has had on Friday night reported that Odua would be arraigned for alleged financial impropriety totaling more than 9.4 billion naira fraud. Sarah reporters had in September 2017 uncovered how Odua 
bought a 2.1 million dollar home in london disguising it in the ropes of a foreign registered company in an effort to avoid detention avoid detection the transaction which had been kept secret was blown open when mrs udua decided to rent out the house and engage the services of a shady real estate company daniel ford and company limited for that purpose Sir reporters had also reported in february 2018 that the efcc had commenced investigation of udua over her involvement in the 9.4 billion naira contract for supply of security equipment to 22 airports across the country hmm. no one that says someone says if you don't know how to steal well you cannot be accommodated in apc and pdp that was her only way to escape prosecution now we understand that pdp and apc are based on the same feathers of course that is why they don't talk when too much injustice is going on in Igbo land. The simile um, crime you committed in the past will be used to buy your silence in the face of the glaring truth. Lesson is keep your hands straight and clean when giving the opportunity to serve so that nothing will be heard against you when you leave office. Abari Bay is the case study. He speaks the truth and fight for his people. You find you bad that he's supposed to be ba uh, back. Supposed to back Abaribe is busy campaigning for another political party or political post, and that has uh, bought and that has bought his silence. From dust we can uh, can we came to dust we are returning, and no one is going to the great beyond with anything. Well, they don't know. They don't know that. They are aware of that, but they don't they don't pay attention to that. Political transfer market shouldn't pose any surprise to any Nigerian. After all, politics in Nigeria is a business and there's no enemy in business. The electorates are the ones to shine their eyes. Come on to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden with corruption cases, and I will give you rest in APC. Well, if you can't thief well. You don't have a place in APC and PDP. Hmm. Now, well, stay one place and stop confusing primary school children that is reading current affairs. Woman, hmm. I did not the same. APC needs that money for 2023 election campaign. You are welcome, my more great uh, in future.